Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would make a peach crisp and I went down to my little produce place that I always go to and picked up six peaches. And what you want to do is just, well you don't have to, but it's easier for me because I will cut a peach and take half the peach off because I'm just not good at peeling things like that. So just boil it for boil the peaches for about 30 seconds and then just take a little serrated knife like I'm doing and just it just peels off so easy and after you take them out of the water uh, out of the boiling water just put those in like an ice bath just just get you some cubes of ice and throw them in a bowl and that'll just stop the cooking process for the peaches but it just makes them so so easy and when you're picking out your peaches, make sure that you get, you know, because in the store, some of them can be really hard and they're not ripe enough. So <clears throat> just try to pick them out to where when you press it just a little bit, <clears throat> it's soft. Um, because when you try to blanch these peaches in the hot water and they're not ripe enough, the skin will not come off of them this easy. <laughs> I try well I had one peach in this batch here that gave me a hard time and I even dropped it back in the water but you see it just there's not much waste all it is is the skin and then you just want to take your knife now these peaches that I have there's like two types of peaches around here there's freestone peach which are which is what this is and then there's a cling stone peach and you just like cut it this I cut it just like an avocado and just turn the knife and these freestone peaches you see how easy the pit pulls out of the peach if that was a cling stone peach it would not do that I mean the the fruit is so stuck to the pit that it's like impossible <laughs> So these peaches just have way less waste because when you're trying to cut one of the other peaches, you have to cut all around the pit. It's like impossible to get it out. So, and then just, just slice it, just thin slices like what I'm doing. Also, if you can't get to the peaches right away to make this, make sure that you put a little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime juice on the peaches just to keep them from turning because I have put peaches in the refrigerator going to get back to something and my peaches were brown so we're going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract to the peaches now you don't have to do this step but I like to get sugar down in my peaches I mean we have brown sugar in the topping but I, I want my peaches to be sweeter so you can add you don't have to add brown sugar you can add some white sugar whatever you prefer and just get those tossed up really good and I have I'm cooking this in an 8x8 eight eight dish and these this size six peaches will fit perfect in that so the next step we're gonna make our topping and that is one half cup of flour, one quarter cup of light brown sugar, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and you, we, I have a stick of cold butter, a half a cup. So we want to take that and just get that blend it in with our flour and you want it to be cold when you do this your butter and I just use this just to get my my butter broke up because yeah, it's hard squishing up a whole stick of butter so you want to have this to where it's just like little little crumbs in your uh, in your mixture so when you go to cook it the butter just melts and it's not all just absorbed into the flour mixture 
This thing just gives me a time too. It gets all stuck. <laughs> But for me, it's just easier doing things. I mean, as a lot of tools I use, but like I said, I'm only using this to, cr to just to mash up that whole stick of butter. But it's so much easier for me a lot of times, other than using tools, just to get in with my hands. And I apologize, I didn't, I didn't take my rings off. <laughs> my hands are clean. But just take it and just kind of roll it in your fingers and just try to break up the butter into just like small little pebbles and when you get it all mixed up it's just gonna look like a crumbly crumbly mixture and the next step we're gonna do is add one and a half cups of like the old-fashioned rolled oats not the quick cooking ones those are just the regular ones and I added a quarter cup of chopped pecans. And just get that all mixed up really well. And that is, that's the rest of our, that's everything that's going to go in our topping. Now those peaches, if you want to add like a tablespoon of cornstarch to those, because this liquid off of this peach crisp will be a more runny type liquid from the juice from the peaches. So if you want it thicker, just take um, just take like a tablespoon of cornstarch and just mix it all around in the peaches. And that will kind of thicken it up whenever, um, whenever it's cooking if you want that kind of consistency. So I have my little 8x8 eight eight dish. And I sprayed it with some nonstick spray. And we just want to spread the peaches out in the bottom. And then add our topping. And you want to try to, when you add the topping, you want to try to kind of press it down into the peaches. Um, you want it to be kind of compact so it cooks with the peach juice because the bottom the bottom oats will get soft but the top will stay kind of crunchy just get it pressed down good and I'm trying to remember what I cook this at I think I cooked this at 300, yeah, 350 degrees, and I left it in for about 40 minutes. And you can tell, just leave it in long enough to where your top gets like a kind of dark golden brown. And like I said, the consistency of the peaches, if you want the cornstarch, please do that. But, oh... The peach flavor is so intense in these. Um, and that's why I'm glad that I add the sugar, you know, you should, add, well, I feel to add the sugar in the, in the peaches because it just makes them sweeter. But the topping is so crunchy and crumbly and delicious and chewy. And it was perfect. I ate a little bit, but then I had a, uh, a little bit with some uh, almond butter ice cream and it was it was delicious but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope if you see some fresh peaches laying around in the grocery store you can grab a few this isn't bready and doughy like a cobbler of course but it's really healthy and it's really good but thank you guys for watching and I appreciate it and I'll see you on my next video bye guys